This project uses a custom Arduino node to print to an LCD. Clicking the button cycles through three messages. Setting up an LCD can be tricky, so before starting the Embryo project, I go to the Arduino website and find the Liquid Crystal Library on the Libraries page. I followed the wiring diagram and used the Hello World example to make sure that my LCD is working correctly. My Embryo project already has a button agent as described in the button encapsulation example. I create a new agent and name it LCD. I use the right-click menu to add a custom Arduino node from the input-output menu and also rename it to LCD. Using the add input icons on the node I can add a trigger and text input and make them both exposed to other agents. You can also right-click on the node to add inputs and outputs. I copy and paste from the Hello World example into the appropriate sections of the custom Arduino node. Remember that variables defined in a custom Arduino node are global to the Embryo project, so be sure to use unique names. The liquid crystal object is defined. Now I want to add a code block that is called when the input trigger is fired. I do this by clicking on the New Code Block button, selecting Trigger from the Update condition, and then selecting the trigger input that I added to the node. The Hello World example uses the set cursor method to move to the beginning of the line before printing which works because every update prints the same number of characters. I'm printing a text input which could be any length, so first I'm going to use the LCD clear method to remove any existing text from the LCD. To use the value of the text input, I first type input underscore then the name of the text input without spaces. So in this case, input underscore text. Now I'm ready to test the node, so I open a connection to the Arduino and wait for Embryo to upload a connection program. To set the value of a text input, either middle click on the right half of the input or use the right click menu on the input and select edit value. I'll just set the value to test. When I click on the input trigger, the code block fires and my LCD now shows the word test. I know that writing to an LCD takes a pretty long time, but I want to know exactly how long. If you have a full version of Embryo, you can access the profiler tab. Click on the nodes tab in the profiler to see how long each node in the project takes to execute. Next to the LCD node is a value of negative 1, which means that there's no timing data yet. I click on the timing button in the connection toolbar and a test program is uploaded to the Arduino and the results are sent back. I see that the LCD node takes almost 6,000 microseconds, or 6 milliseconds, which is a lot in computer terms. Because the compiler doesn't know how often the trigger will fire, it needs to set aside this much time on every update. And because the agent is set to refresh 32 times per second, Almost 200 milliseconds of every second need to be reserved for updating the LCD. I don't really need the LCD to update that fast, so I'll change the refresh rate to something smaller, like 8, and update the connection program. Now only about 50 milliseconds per second are reserved for the LCD. Also, be aware that the timing is for writing a text string equal to the maximum length defined by the input, which defaults to 10 characters. To reduce the amount of time reserved by the LCD node, I can enter a lower max value. In this project, I'm going to have the LCD print out either first, second, or third, so it will be a maximum of six characters. After running the timing test again, I see that the LCD node will be reserving about 45 milliseconds per second, which is fine. The LCD agent is now finished. I go back to the project tree and make a new agent that I call LCD State Control. This agent will access both the button and LCD agents, so I drag them from the project tree onto the node screen editor. To set the text of the LCD agent, I'm going to use three text activator nodes, which I get from the text folder on the right-click menu. On the first node, I'll change the text input's default value to first. The text activator node works by passing through the input text when the input activation goes above 0.5. I copy and paste the node twice and change the input text values to second and third. Next, I connect all three text outputs to the LCD's text input. I also connect each of the turned on triggers to the LCD agent's trigger input so that the LCD updates when any of the text activator nodes become active.
Text inputs add together the connected output values. So to control what is printed, I'll only have one of the text activator nodes activated at a time. To do this, I use a multi-step node from the flow control folder. I click the add button three times and connect the output activation to the three text activator nodes. Next, I connect the button agent's click trigger to the multi-step node and then connect the done output trigger to the reset input trigger. The project is now done and clicking on the button cycles through the three messages.